Hello, Rip. I've recently done a body composition analyzer test. The Tanita scale. Anybody know what the hell the Tanita scale is? Never heard of that one. T A N I T A. That's a. What does that mean? That's a brand of scale, I thought. Uh, it, it, this is one of these silly ass things where you stand on it, it tells you yeah. your body oh, composition, yeah, yeah. probably. Well, Tanita is just a, a manufacturer. What, what, what's he say about the Tanita scale? Well, what he says here is that. Uh, uh, this Tanita scale has been doing that to me. So he's told him that he is uh, 21% body oh, fat. Oh, yeah. Uh, according to this test, I should have lower than 20% to be normal weight. Uh, uh, this is agonizing to read because... <laughs> it almost broke you. Because the... <laughs> Because the degree of misunderstanding between body composition, body weight, and muscle mass here is just, this is, uh, uh, and, and the fact that you can't determine body composition by standing on anything. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Uh, he wants to, uh, uh, goes to add as much strength and muscle as possible without having a fat stomach. I'm just, I, you know, why do you think you're going to get a fat stomach if you take your deadlift from two and a quarter to 495? What in that process makes you fat? You know, I mean, if you, if you find you're adding too much body fat, you, you slow down the, the calories a little bit, but the, the way you get big and strong is to lift heavier weights, heavier and heavier weights over time. But it sounds to me like you don't want to be big and strong. You just want to have abs or something. I, I don't know. Different, different podcast, right? 